this is Kushal Everyday DBA. In this video, we're going to be doing the solution to the Macro Monday Challenge, which is text to columns. Now, this is a nice one because it's recordable. If you're not sure how Macro Monday works, if you're looking to get better at uh, your DBA skills, subscribe to my channel. I do weekly videos where we post a challenge and we post a solution on Friday, um, and that's what this is. Now, this one's pretty easy. It is text to columns, so we're taking the text, we're putting it to columns, we can actually record this, and then we're going to trim down the code so that we can get exactly kind of what we're looking for. So, let's go ahead and dig in. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to select on the region that I'm on before I'm going to record. Um, recording is really important just because it's very literal, and it will pull in so much more data than you actually need, and you'll see that at the end of this video. So, we're going to click record. I'm going to call this a uh, fun, fun book or something, fun, call it whatever we want. You just can't have spaces in there, it'll yell, yell at you. Now you'll notice that this changed to a stop button, so that means that we're recording. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit control A, that's going to select the entire region. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to pull this up and grab that module. Now, one of the things that I recommend that you do is that you, when you're recording a macro, you actually just pull up your Visual Basic Editor and see what it's doing. Because um, there's stuff that you're going to know that you want to get rid of. Um, and you will actually, it, will be, it will be very obvious that you want to get rid of if you're watching it record. So for example, it'll pick up scrolls and all sorts of crazy stuff. So uh, you just want to make sure that, that's, um, that, that you have that open. It's kind of a quick trick. So what we're going to do is we're going to text to columns. Um, it's going to be delimited. And it's going to be delimited with a comma only. Uh, the text qualifier of, of quotes is fine, um, or you could do none. And actually, what it, regardless of what you put in here, it's going to pull that information in. Um, this would, and really, all that means in text to column speak is that you're going to have a comma and you're going to have a quote, and then you're going to have a comma and then you're going to have a quote, and that's you basically that's how that works. So um, we're going to go ahead and click next. And then if we wanted to give headers, we could go in here and give header types or, you know, whatever. Um, we can also put in the destination, etc. So let's go and just finish this off. And you'll notice that it just pasted a bunch of code here, right? So that, that is my text to columns. It worked beautifully. did a great job. Um, you'll notice that it, I also adjusted the application width. Isn't that funny? Ha, huh, that's funny. So again, recording <laughs> picks that stuff up. Okay, so now let's go in here. Let's let's actually just kind of break this down and kind of simplify it a little bit. So first of all, we need to stop the recording. Sometimes what can happen is you start coding, you forget that you're recording, and then you're recording on top of yourselves. That could be a pain. So what we're doing here is we are just going to um, dig right in and, and basically figure out how we can kind of simplify this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and work instead of selection range select if you watch many of my videos you'll know that I like selection dot current region okay um, and then we're just gonna test this I'm actually gonna test this in my immediate window and I'm gonna select a cell in here and we're just gonna test it so come in here test it uh, paste it into my immediate window um, on anywhere on that line, you hit enter, and it's going to execute that one line of code. So we know that that works, so we're good. So we can actually get rid of this because I don't really care for it. Now the next thing we want to do is I don't really care about the desk. There, a lot of this information we can kind of we can kind of trim out. So first thing we want to we can trim out, which is obvious, is these these consecutive delimiter ones, these these false ones. So we know that we're not going to use these. These are tabs. Now, a um, couple things here. Um, if I delete that space, it's going to give me an error. Let me just show you real quick. It's going to give me an error. And the reason it's going to give me an error is because it's expecting more information. Um, and that, that underscore basically says, I've got more code, but we're going to go to the next line. So I'm going to keep that, keep that there for now. I'm going to get rid of all this false stuff because we don't need it. We do need the comma. Get rid of... All of that stuff okay text qualifier double quote don't think we need it so we're gonna get rid of that as well I'm deleting the whole line so this should be fine okay we don't need application width unless we really wanted to change the width and height of the application which could be fun you could mess with people it'd be, it'd be good times we really don't need trailing uh, trailing minus numbers um, so we're gonna trim that out 
as well. Okay, we should be good. We're going to have to get rid of that and that. Okay, so now we've, we've basically we've trimmed this down quite a bit. So we've got, you know, it's delimited, uh, it's comma true, we've got our field info, um, etc. So what we're going to do is I've got another sheet here and then we're going to just give it a shot. So we're going to click in here and we're going to run this and just see if it works. Okay, it works like a charm. That works great as well. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get rid of this field info. So again, sometimes when you're recording these videos, a lot of times it's, hey, I'm going to just try something and get rid of it and actually see if it works. Now this says it doesn't like my code. Um, and now we're getting down to some pretty small stuff, right? So um, we've got rid of that. I got another sheet. Copy through a bunch of sheets because this makes life easier. We're going to give this a shot. And it worked. So again, we're just trimming this, trim, trimming this recording way down. Now let's get rid of destination. Um, the reason we'd want to get rid of destination is because if we change this destination, it would actually move where it's pasting that information. And so we don't necessarily want to do that. Um, now, one of the cool things that you could do, this is completely off topic, but if we wanted to do B9, um, we would actually keep our original. Let's try that. That's interesting. Okay, so we're going to give that a shot and it's going to paste it into B9 and you'll notice that we have our commas and we have our location, okay? Now I think we can actually also get rid of this as well. So we, if we wanna just do it in, in spot, in, in its space, that's great. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're trimming this down like crazy. And let's see, okay, so we got this right here, trimming it down, we're gonna hit F8. And we're gonna do one more thing after this again. Sometimes when you're trimming these down, you're going to get errors. Um, and so that's one of the things why you want to do it just kind of one, one by one. Um, but the other thing that we're going to do here is we actually don't need to select it and then select our selection, right? Because we're already doing that up there. So what we're going to do is instead of doing that, we're going to actually sync this down into one line. And we are going to keep it just like this. Um, and we should be good to go. Now, a couple things on this that you may or may not know. Um, if you don't have the header information in there, it's just going to guess, right? So sometimes it, uh, you know what? Sometimes it'll it'll pull that stuff in. Um, actually, I was thinking about sorting. That's funny. I've been doing stuff on sorting, not on on uh, text columns. Um, so that scratch that whole thing. Anyway, um, this one's pretty nice. I mean, you, you can actually trim it down pretty good. Um, again, selection, current region, and text to columns, and you get into that. You run it with a single line of code. Um, now remember, it, it recorded, you know, basically we it recorded our select all, which is the control A. It recorded that whole text thing with all the data in there, which is nice because if we wanted to do, you know, by spaces or by tabs, we would actually be able to, to dig down and be able to strip it back so that we just have nice, clean code. So anyway, that is your solution to the Macro Monday Challenge. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribing to the Everyday VBA channel. And if you like the video, give me a like and hope you have a great day.